All right, what's up everyone? Hope everybody is well today. We are back at it today. We are going to a, uh, to a duplex we have under contract, uh, just under 1.1 million. The reason why this particular duplex is gonna, is gonna make sense, uh, one, the particular family that's buying it and investors, they're going to live there. So when you're gonna live like in a property, it can usually pencil a little bit better for you. And one of the big reasons why this particular property has so much upside <clears throat> is the fact that you can build another two units in the back. It has a nice big, big chunk of land. So we're excited about that. We're headed to the physical inspection with one of my inspectors, Mike, to crawl through the property, see if there's any, uh, see if there's any things we can use to uh, get the price down in escrow. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in a minute. This is a big reason why this property was so uh, <laughs> so great and actually looked like it was gonna be a really good, really good deal. This one, you have a huge, huge yard. So the reason why this one was gonna probably work for this family is one of the families is gonna live on top. They're gonna put in a bedroom and another bath. So it's gonna be a three bedroom, two bath. And then the downstairs unit has like nice French doors that come out here. That one's already been remodeled. So the other family is gonna live downstairs and they have a huge yard you know, for the, one of the family's sons and for the grandson. And what I'm standing on right now is a is like a slab of concrete. And I'll show you this in a minute, but this is an area that we can build up on and go over the garage and add two more units. So in two, three, four, five, or 10 years, if they choose, they can turn this duplex into a fourplex and it's gonna be worth a ton of money. And I'll show you right now why that's, uh, that's possible on this particular property. A big reason why we selected this particular property and I did a lot of due diligence on this thing is because the property line goes all the way up to the neighbors, which is great. And then you have three parking spots that are off the street and then you have two single car garages, but you also have almost 12 feet to the alley. And the beauty of this alley is, let me show you down here, Tuan, is that's a private alley. There's no go through. That's it, it stops down there, and all of these neighbors get to use this particular area that goes out to the street. So this zone right here, we can go up and over and still keep the three spots to park off street. So you have garage, off street parking, <clears throat> and you can build almost another 2,000 square feet back here. So at some point, this can be an incredible income property, or they can build it and sell it, you know, for a couple million bucks and be good to go. So it's a really, really good buy. We're in escrow just under 1.1 and uh, I'm gonna try to get it down a little bit in escrow though. Going good? Good to see you. This is the world's greatest home inspector on the planet. So we're filming a little bit today. Okay. Um, so yeah, just to give you like a quick little run on this, okay. it's basically duplex, uh, two bedroom, one bath, two bedroom, one bath. Upstairs is totally vacant. We're gonna start upstairs okay. just because the tenants are still here, sleeping, got in home like a little late from some traveling, right. but this has been somewhat remodeled. That is pretty much original, okay. um, and it's a pretty big property. It goes all the way out to the back. There's a private alley in the back there, um, but there's I didn't really see a whole lot okay. wrong with it as far as one of these older buildings. So there's, like, it looks straight. There's, it doesn't look like there's any room issues. It's just it's a little bit dated on the construction upstairs. All right, Sounds But good. yeah, I'll let you do your thing, and if you have any questions, all right. let Where me is know. Coming or? They're already up, yeah, they're upstairs. Okay, let me go. Super nice family, yeah, you can go say hi to them. All right, so so big things that I look for, especially in like a physical inspection, when the property's already in escrow, we already have it tied up and we're moving towards closing, is like, this sounds ridiculous, but is the building straight? Like, is the building straight? Is there any cracks in the foundation? Is there any like spots on the ceiling that it look like they've been saturated with water from possibly a leak in the ceiling? How's the electrical panels? Have they been upgraded in the past 20 years? What kind of, here's a perfect example. So like, what kind of plumbing is coming out of the structure? Is it copper, is it galvanized? You know, those are 
those are important things to know. And has the property been upgraded at any time? So everything looks good. You know, these are, this is also very important. You don't know how many properties that I've been to that said it was a duplex that have one gas meter, one electric meter. Always check and <laughs> make sure you have two gas meters, two electrical meters and a meter per address. Super important. You look for like a little bit of chipped paint. It's still not the end of the world, it just needs to be painted. But I look for major structural problems, like major things that are gonna, one, cause a lawsuit, one, are safety problems for either you or your family. But like, these are things we really, really dig into um, once we open escrow and have a physical inspection, which is why Mike's here. He's gonna give us a humongous report with everything, with pictures and really kind of help us in this whole process. Even the front. So, but there's specific windows that you have to get like the thumbs up or thumbs down. So what I was just telling Tuan is, is you could change the way the entire front looks really easily. Like if you just extend like the roof, just like, it's like a pull. I was trying to show him, but if you look at this particular house right here, like their eaves like come down almost a foot. So if you just put those on the front and you took this little metal thing out and did the same thing, but in wood and the same thing to this side, mm -hmm. the front of this house would look exactly like that one. Hmm. And that's like traditional craftsman. Yeah. Well, this isn't craftsman, but even but so. it could look like one yeah. from the fr like from the street. It would look like a craftsman that would up the value overnight as soon as you were done. And that would probably cost you five grand. So you wouldn't have to do anything structurally. It's basically just cosmetic. You would, you would pull just a little eave and run it and you'd paint it a different color than the house and you would give it that depth. Yeah, do you think that awning has been here forever or is that uh, some kind of recent addition? Probably in like the 70s, hmm. but that probably was wood at some time, at some point and got either you know wet or got full of termite and had to get ripped out. Um, but th these are very easy just to put. They're like usually four bolts. They come off. You go right ahead. Why not? It's not going to be perfect to scale, but I, I do these quite a bit. Uh, what, what's your guess on the size of this? This room, uh, long? Yeah. It's at least 20. No, maybe not 20, maybe 18. Why? You didn't have to, you know, change this at all. Right, you would, at all. You would just leave the right. structure. You just have to change the inside, which is right. really, really easy. Right. It's still going to be pretty small, but it would fit. It would fit. You could get, you know, this tub would fit over here. Easily. You get a small bathroom. Mm -hmm. Money and use their money while it's cheap right? and it's used all of your neighbors money so your neighbors are paying their taxes and all these buildings are getting sold which makes your property value go up I, that's good leverage I want to use that to my advantage I'm doing it with two properties I have right now I'm taking out 300,000 per property and I'm going to buy you know 60 70 units in Cleveland wow. that's it Wow. and I didn't do a thing I didn't do anything extra for that money like my surrounding neighbors did. Thank you, neighbors. <laughs> you know what I mean? They sold their properties, which made my property go up. And when you look at what's going on in the country, that helps it go up. And I also don't want to give it back once we do have a dip and a correction. That equity is just going to go back to the bank. So I don't yeah. really want to give it to them. Well, you <laughs> make counters over to this area here. That'd be quite a lot. And then an island. Yeah, but people like big kitchens. Yeah. I, you know, I have a giant kitchen. I love, that's where, that's where oh, yeah. everybody is. Yeah. It's I'm been all of our time in the I'm kitchen. I'm just looking for where you're going to put all the cupboards and stuff. You know, there's no cupboards well, hardly at all in here. Well, so. the, you can go low with most of the cupboards. And then if you do, if you do do like an island, you can have tons of storage under the island. And they have got these systems that pull out with racks and gotten pretty, pretty sharp with how they're setting these things up. And just like a slide in stove. Mm -hmm. You would do like a cooktop on top and then you would slide the stove there or you would do, you know, like a two in one unit. Yeah. 
You just want to get the one that doesn't have this on top, it just has this? Oh, this one does have a hood. There's, there's no <laughs> vent hood downstairs. Yeah. We're almost done here with this physical inspection. Got a lot of really good information um, that we can use and some really good information on how we're going to drop uh, the remodel for the top. So once we do close escrow, we're going to you know, go to town on this thing and open, open up some of the walls. We're going to change the front of the house a little bit. It's going to look a little bit more like, you know, this kind of craftsman, very traditional um, Long Beach craftsman style house once we're, once we're all through. So I'm excited about closing this one out. And uh, this is a really cool historical neighborhood. Excited to be in it.